Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to add the table of contents on any WordPress blog post. This is an example of blog post and you will see a table of contents added on this blog post. This particular blog post has many different sections. If the visitor is looking for specific information on your website, on your blog post, then they can go directly to that particular section on the blog post. Here I have the table of contents added on this blog post and you will see different sections on this blog post. If I want to buy new router, I can simply click on it. It will go directly to that particular buy new router section. From here, I can come back. If I want to go to another section, I can simply click on it and it will go directly to that particular section. So if you have long blog post or page on your website, you can add table of contents at the top so that people will be able to go directly to a specific section on the blog post. To add the table of contents, I'm going to install the Spectra Page Builder plugin. Apart from table of contents, you can see there are many different blocks or sections that you can add on a WordPress website. You can use the Spectra Page Builder with any theme and it works with this default Gutenberg WordPress editor. So let's see how we can use the table of contents using the Spectra plugin. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I have installed the Spectra Page Builder plugin on this website and I'm using Astra theme on this website. The Spectra page builder works with any theme. So it is not necessary to install the Astra theme. You can use the Spectra page builder with any theme. Now, apart from table of contents, you will get all these blocks in Spectra page builder. I have already published a video on how to install and use the Spectra page builder. I'll give you the link in the description box. If you want to know how to install it, you can watch this video. So let's go to one of the blog posts here. So this is the blog post on which I'm going to add the table of contents. Here you will see many different sections are on this blog post. This is one of the technical blog. Here you can see how to set up this router, how to set up without installation program, how to fix the network, how to reset it, how to upgrade it and how to buy a new router. So we have different sections on this blog post and I think we should add table of contents at the top of this blog post. So let's go to edit post. Now here you can see that I'm using the default WordPress editor, the Gutenberg. I'm not using any third party page builder such as DV, Elementor or WP Bakery. It's the basic WordPress page builder. So here I'm going to add table of contents just below this line. So I'm going to enter it. And here you can click on plus sign or you can go here plus and you will see all the blocks which are available under Spectra. So these are all Spectra blocks so here you can look for table of content or you can search for table of contents at the top so here you will see table of contents this one is Yoast table of contents I have the Yoast premium plugin installed on this website this is one of the premium plugins so it's not a free one so we have the Spectra page builder free plugin so we are going to use this one click on table of contents and here you will see table of contents added in the website so this is how it will look now let's see the settings of this blog here you will see the title table of contents and in the right hand side you will see which tags you want to add in the table of content so this one is the h1 tag you will see it here this one is s2 h3 all these tags are h3 so if you do not want all these tags in the table of content you can remove that you can disable these tags Basically, we will need H2 or H3 tags in the table of contents. So when I click on it in the right hand side, you will see the option to edit the table of contents. So I'm going to disable H1, H3, H4, H5, H6. So we have got only H2 tags added in the table of contents. All right, let's go to style settings and let's add some padding around the border so I've got 25 pixel padding you can see it here and this is the background color if you want to change the background color you can change the background color for the table of contents just like this now here we have the solid border for the table of contents if you want to change it you can use dotted groove so these are the basic border settings width one pixel 
you can change if you want to change the width radius so this is the radius border radius now here you will see title title color so if you want to change the title color you can change it just like this typography from here you can change the font family for the table of contents font size is also there font weight style transform line height everything is there for the font settings bottom spacing so this is just like the space between the table of content title and the and the list so this is the color for the list you can change the color just like this you can change the color of the list inner content spacing Let's go to hover, hover settings. You can change the hover color. You will see the change in the color. All right, so let's go to advanced responsive condition. If you want to hide this table of content on mobile, you can hide it on the mobile. So it will not show on the mobile. Let's see. Okay, so here you can see that it is disabled on the mobile. If I enable it, it will show on the mobile also. So these are the basic settings of the table of contents. Here you can see scroll settings, smooth scroll is enabled. So whenever someone clicks on it, it will go to that particular section and it will scroll smoothly. Here you will see the option show scroll to top. So I'll show you how does this work. So let's update this blog post and let's view the blog post. So now you can see the table of contents is added here. If I click on this one, it will go directly to that section. I already have scroll to top button here. So it will go back. It will go directly to that particular section. So you can easily add table of contents using the Spectra page builder. Now here I think we need some spacing between the title and the table of contents. So let's go here and just hit enter and here we can add a spacer you can search for spacer and we can add some space between the title and the table of contents let's update it let's go back refresh it so you will see some space here So this is how you can add the table of contents on WordPress blog post using the Spectra page builder. So instead of installing a plugin specially for table of contents, you can use the Spectra page builder because apart from table of contents, you will get many different blocks and extensions to use in any WordPress website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.